What is going on guys? Today uh, I'm pretty excited. I got the new Phantom 4 Pro. Now I've never owned a DJI um, Phantom before. I had recently owned the Mavic for about a month now and sold that to get this. The Mavic was an amazing device, but I really wanted to test this video quality with the Phantom 4 Pro. So with that being said, this is be just a quick unboxing video. Um, never, haven't even touched this box or whatnot. I actually got it Friday. Today is uh, Sunday, but I got it Friday, the day before Christmas Eve, and I just haven't had time to open it. But um, speed the video up here, and once I pull this out of the package, we'll resume. All right, guys. So here's the box. Uh, here's the package, I should say. Golly, this thing's built in there fat. That's a big box. Packaged nicely, though. I like how the box fits it exactly. So here's the actual uh, the box. It's actually quite big, but um, focus in on there. Make sure it's focused. So big old box. You go ahead and open this right here. There we go. Kind of excited about this. I'm assuming this comes in a phone box like all the other Phantoms do, and it does. How do I get these open? There we go. Pull this bad boy out too. Um, actually, the foam is a lot more sturdy or, or hard than I thought it would be. Um, there's the actual casing. And you have a lock right here. I guess you just open this. There we go. And turn it. Uh, wow, it's actually a lot smaller than I thought. The actual drone itself. So that's what it looks like inside. Looks like you got your controller right here, phantom right here, battery. Um, is that a, maybe a charger or something? USB cord, instruction manuals, and your props. So I'll take it off. I'll take it all out one by one, and uh, we'll go ahead and get going. So here's the actual drone itself. It's a lot, it's really a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Um, the videos make it look bigger, but here's the drone itself. Here's the gimbal. Um, it's got the gimbal guard on it currently, as you can see that right there. But um, sensor is a lot bigger than the Mavic. You know, the Mavic was probably a third of this size, just barely, barely right there, which was great. I, I really enjoyed my Mavic a lot. I just, I just really wanted to test this thing out, so I sold it. But um, let's see. On the side, you have your vision sensors. I'm really not sure what that is. Uh, on the bat, on the bottom, or whatnot. Obviously, you have your sonar and some more vision sensors. Here's the vision sensors right here. And then on this side, you have the same battery pull that pop that out battery is huge uh, it's really just a tad bit bigger than the uh, Mavic there's the inside the battery bay if you can see that at all I don't know if you can or not but I'll plug that back in and apparently I have it upside down I don't know if you can have it upside down who knows pretty cool so you got your SD card which actually it looks like it comes with one then your micro SD slot we might see what it yeah, it comes with a 16, I don't know if you can see that, I'm not gonna zoom in for a 16 micro SD card. It comes with a 16 gigabyte micro SD. I'm actually fixing to put a Samsung, no, it's a SanDisk Extreme Pro 64 gig in there. Um, motors look nice. Everything looks nice so far. Then you have the remote, which this is uh, smaller than uh, the previous remotes I've, I've owned flying with my custom built quads. Um, I owned uh, Tyrannus and 9X, Turnigy 9X and all that kind of stuff. So it looks smaller. It looks like you have to break all the plastic just to uh, pull this out. Wow, that was a hassle. So here's the remote. A lot bigger than the Mavic, obviously, but I mean, can't complain. Probably, I'm assuming your gimbal, gimbal right here. 
and uh, your camera camera uh, options, shutter speed or whatnot, I'm zooming. And then here's the uh, mount. Actually, it feels pretty solid in the hands. Return to home, power on and off. C1, C2 are on the back, right there. And then you have a, looks like a USB port right here and a micro, uh, micro USB right there. Now I know on the Phantom 4 modules, they came out with an expansion, which looks like they're gonna have one anyways, right here where these four screws are. You could plug in HDMI out. So, pretty cool remote. It feels good in the hand. It feels like it's built nice and sturdy. Um, there's really not much left besides the propellers. I'm trying to make this quick, but not really working with me. All right, so you get one, two, three, four, five, six, eight propellers, eight props. In in the uh, keep forgetting this is a wide angle lens. The prop sizes is, is a 9450s. So eight props, pretty cool. You have your big old Apple iPad, not iPad, Apple MacBook charger looks like um, wall charger, obviously for the batteries. And then you have your cable plugged into the wall and the instruction manual. And besides that, guys, looks like you have two cables right here. This is a micro USB. One end is the USB, the other end is the micro, and then a uh, another micro USB. So besides that, that is what is left inside the box. So uh, yeah, I can't wait to get this thing in the air. I'll have to charge up the battery tonight. I ordered another battery from BH Photo. It should be here uh, this this week sometime. So um, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing video. I, I don't really know a lot about this drone because I've never owned one. I've done my research and I know just about the basic information. I just wanted to unbox this and uh, hopefully somebody will enjoy it. See what all you get in the in the uh, in the box itself. But with that being said, guys, I appreciate it. Hope you hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe. And uh, I can't wait to get this thing in the air and, and uh, show you some footage from it. So with that being said, y'all have a good one. Hope you everybody have a Merry Christmas and uh, see y'all later. Bye.